Thank you for the invitation to yourself and the management of Kildare Village for your kind invitation to be with our Chinese friends on what's a very special day. And I'm delighted to be joined by the CEO of Kildare County Council, Peter Carey, along with two of our directors. We have uh, Kildare Falsha and the Chamber is also represented. So we're, we, I think we appreciate what the new year means to Chinese and you've explained quite clearly to us. And I suppose it's only fitting and right that if we were asking the rest of the world on the 17th of March to paint your town, city or bridge green, the least we can do is paint their village red for a few days. <laughs> but it's, 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 a, it's a very important day. And I think for, I suppose growing up for me, most of the Chinese that I knew at the time were involved in, in the restaurant business. And gradually that's changed. Uh, Chinese people have got involved in so many different businesses right around the country, and it's only right that that, that should happen. And we try and encourage that and make people feel very welcome in doing business. And here in Kildare in particular, we like to say that we have an open door policy for people who want to come in here and do business. But also, we, we part from the proximity to the city and the good county and the green county that it is, you know, we've been up like going for us. But this really, Kildare Village is a real gem that we have. And it never stays the same. It's always continually developing, changing, but becoming more attractive. And I think we have some understanding of what it means to the, the Chinese when we see the, the, the numbers here. You mentioned about the diplomatic relations that we're going to be celebrating <coughs> all years of that. At, at Kildare County Council level, a few years ago, we set up a friendship group with the Guangdong province, and I had the pleasure of visiting there along with the, one of the directors, Niall, from, from Kildare County Council uh, last October. We, uh, and we identified a number of areas where we think we can make progress. So really trying to go beyond, the friendship is lovely, but we're looking at areas where we can do business and uh, maybe have cultural exchanges. And we had some of the people from Guangdong came back and visited us in Kildare County Council. And we'd like to, to see that develop, and I'm sure it will. But we, as I said, said before, we're, we very much are open for business in Kildare and are very much welcome investment uh, coming in, into the county. But the, I suppose there's no better story to tell really than we have here in, in Kildare Village. We also have the Curra Red Court, we call the Thoroughbred County for those of you who don't know. We, we take our, our horses and our racing seriously here and we've had a major investment in the three, the three race tracks, Nace, Punchestown and more recently, the current anyone who drives across will see the progress that's been made there, and we'll be opening that track in, in, in a few weeks' time. And I, I'm sure I, I, I visit a number of race tracks around the world. I think this will be as good as you'll find anywhere else. So it's all involved in that. Well done. Uh, maybe it's, uh, I was trying to explain to someone the other day the, the importance of their village and what it means to people. And maybe if I tell you a little story, it might sum it up. I, I should have, at the outset, Ambassador, I should have said, I'm joined by a former colleague, uh, Cyprian Brady from Dublin. Uh, he, he, he joined us today, and I know he's been very much involved with the, with the Chinese community as well. Cyprian, you're, you're very, very welcome. Nice, nice to see you again. But I was having a chat with a Chinese lady some time ago, and I suppose the conversation got quite serious. And I was explaining to her about the hereafter and what I what heaven meant to me when I leave this world that I was going to go to this place where you'd enjoy eternal happiness, there'd be no more pain, no more trouble, the all happiness and joy. And I, when I was finished, she said, I, I think I understand you now, Sean. And I said to her, Well, for you, what would heaven be? And she said, There can only be one answer to that to be in Kildare Village. So if you keep treating them like that, we're not even marketing the place. <laughs> so whether as the ambassador said, we're going to have a takeover from Beijing or somewhere else in China, or joint venture. But look, it's, it's, it's a wonderful day, and it's very fitting, I think, that the 
in their village, acknowledge the contribution that the Chinese community are making to Kildare village, Kildare county, but indeed the country of Ireland, and that we make a special effort to entertain and, I suppose, enjoy what is for you the festival of the year. So, on behalf of everyone in Kildare, can we wish the Chinese community a very, very happy new year, and as you said yourself, Ambassador, hope that all your dreams come true. Yes. For a million, million, million.